this is what they had in here holding the drawer. The drawer slides like so. This was here. They had it as a guide that was not attached very well. I think they glued it and it really wasn't cut the right length. <laughs> so I'm replacing it with this. Uh, I mimicked the other side, but this one's a little bit beefier than the other side. And when I put it in place, it serves as a very good guide for the drawer. It will fall until I nail it. But nevertheless, I will nail it in place and we'll see how she works. He did an enormous amount of sanding yesterday. How many layers of, of uh, stuff? There was three layers of paint. There was a white, then a gray, and then the shellac, wood grain, heavy coat of whatever it was. And there's a little back piece too, isn't there? Yeah, it's right here. there. It's clean. So it's getting... As many of you already know, I am an IOD stockist on Orchid Designs. And about, uh, I don't know, eight months ago maybe, uh, they came out with a new line, might have been a year, uh, a new line of products called Paint Inlay. This is my first attempt at using an inlay. I chose this one. I just thought it was so beautiful. It's called Paradise. On the back of the inlay, there are 12 sheets in the package. And on the back, it shows you how to lay it out if you want a continuous pattern, both horizontally and vertically. Horizontally and vertically. Now, what this is, open it up. The inlays are on carrier paper. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And they have a protective sheet of tissue paper or carrier paper in between each page. Now this is artisan grade paint that has been put on a carrier page. So this side has the paint on it. When you apply it, you're going to be applying it like this. The back side has grid lines to help you match things up. Additionally, if you'll notice, there is an edge here and here on every page, all four sides. You need to trim that off before you start your application. 
So, I'm very carefully going to do that on a flat surface that I have over here, and then I'll come back. Okay, my pieces are trimmed. You can see. Now you want to use a clay-based chalk paint, uh, preferably one that doesn't have any polymers in it. I honestly don't know if this one has polymers in it or not. It's folk art. Just a pause here because I didn't explain. Uh, you could actually use the same colored paint. I didn't want to. I wanted to use a white paint that would kind of match the front of the dresser so that I could distress areas back where that duck egg blue would show through. Uh, if I wanted all of it to be the duck egg blue, I could just use duck egg blue paint. Uh, but that paint would also get on the inlay, so when you use it a second or third time, that duck egg blue color would, would be there, which is also a beautiful finish. Um, the other thing you could use is a top coat, but you need to make sure that the top coat or the decoupage medium um, that you're using is going to work, so sample board first. Now you want to put a pretty good amount thickness on here, uh, which is also going to give your piece some texture after you remove the inlay. So, putting it on fairly thickly. Grid side facing you, paint side into the paint. Grid lines will help you line things up. And then I didn't line mine up very well. Okay. At this point, you want to probably use a brayer to really press that in there. But my brayer is downstairs. And I want a good impression, but I also want it to look a little bit aged. So I'm just going to use my hands to press. And my little Mr. Sprayer died. I need to get me another one. So instead of a Mr. Sprayer, I've got a, a damp paper towel. And I'm just going to press, wet this, press all over. Press it in really well. See, i got paint on it there because that's wet. Fold that over. And you're going to get some wrinkles, but the wrinkles are going to help give it dimension. And we're going to let it dry. Sweet bird. 